Brothers and sisters in Christ, we are called to worship. I'm Deacon Greg Shumpert. Let each of us today be open for the word because you are different makers. We are called to be united. We are called to be proud and then making a difference while understanding justice. Today we are called to make a difference and that means every one of us to leave the kingdom better than we found it our world, our community, our school, and even our home better than we found it. Let us pray. Father God, I thank you for completing every good work in my life. I choose to believe the word, even when things seem impossible. I choose to believe in you because you're behind the scenes at work for us to bring victories and breakthroughs through every area of our life. Lord, I ask you to help us be strong and of good courage for us to do it and not fear being dismayed. For we hear the Lord our God is with you and he will not leave you nor even forsake you until you finish the work for him. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. So let us celebrate today. And our theme today is, can we make a difference? Can I make a difference? You are the change we've been waiting for. And we'd like to thank you for that. We'd like to thank our young people for stepping out. But my question is, what's your purpose? To make a difference. And only you are responsible for every decision and choice you make. Amen. Oh yeah, I'll never Hello, my name is Dr. Jim Rigg and I am the Superintendent of Catholic Schools for the Archdiocese of Chicago. It is my great pleasure to announce the recipients of the African American Heritage Service Awards for 2021. Each of these award recipients has distinguished themselves in their service to our church and Catholic education as well as through fostering the heritage of African Americans throughout Greater Chicago. Our church is diverse, and we are blessed to serve people from a wide variety of ethnic backgrounds. We have been particularly blessed by the richness of African American culture and heritage in our schools, churches, and other ministries. Each of these awards winners has embraced and promoted this heritage, helping to enable our church to better reach the people they serve. We are truly blessed by their presence. This year's Clergy Award is for Father Tom Walsh. Father Walsh is the pastor of St. Martin de Porres Church and the former pastor of Presentation Parish, both on Chicago's west side. He served as a religion teacher and basketball coach at Holy Trinity High School for 16 years, where he also led campus ministry programs, retreats, and service opportunities. Father Walsh is a longtime supporter of Catholic education and ministry in the African American Catholic community in Chicago. Father Walsh cites that he has been deeply inspired by the children and adults in the communities where he has worked. He has a deep commitment to service and is particularly motivated by the vibrancy of African American spirituality and liturgy. We are grateful for Father Walsh's ministry, and we are pleased to honor him with this year's Clergy Award. Our Lay Leader Award goes to Janice Summerize. Miss Janice Summerize is the business manager at St. Anne's School in Lansing and one of the biggest cheerleaders and supporters of the school community. She is described as the glue that holds the school together. She has recruited families to the school and church for the past 20 years. 
She goes above and beyond the call of duty through selfless acts of kindness and concern for anyone who is in need. If a child is sick, Miss Summerize will make sure they feel safe and is comforted while they wait for their parents to pick them up. Miss Summerize loves and supports students as they prepare for their sacraments as well. She insists that Mass and religious instruction be a priority for the school community, especially during the most difficult of times of COVID. She is a fantastic part of the St. Anne School community, and we are pleased to honor her with the Lay Leader Award. Our Elementary Educator Award goes to Miss Karen Brodsick. Ms. Brodsick is a committed, faith-filled, hard-working Catholic educator and leader. For the past 40 years, she has served at Christ Our Savior School in South Holland. As the current principal of Christ Our Savior, Ms. Brodsick seeks the success of each student and teacher in her school. She actively partners with others for the advancement of Catholic education, faith, and justice in her leadership. Ms. Brodzik's kindness and level-headedness have helped her school community navigate the unique realities of the pandemic this year. Throughout her leadership, Ms. Brodzik has consistently provided a variety of opportunities to help students feel welcomed and appreciated. Ms. Brodzik also encouraged activities of interest to African-American students, such as praise dance, drumming, and forming a choir. Parents and families in the school community support her and believe in her leadership, and we are pleased to present her with the Elementary Educator Award. The High School Educator Award goes to Tracy Aldez. Miss Tracy Aldez is a trusted and respected counselor for the De La Salle Institute School community. She has been a dynamic and effective counselor for students for over 10 years. She is steadfast in her faith and as a courageous model of Christian values to students and adults in the school. Ms. Aldez has provided faculty and staff with a variety of workshops on topics related to mental health awareness in the workplace. Recently, she was a co-leader in faculty development, specifically related to diversity, inclusion, and anti-racism. A knowledgeable and confident professional, Ms. Aldez has been invited to facilitate conversations on similar topics with other school staff throughout Chicagoland. The entire De La Salle Institute is the beneficiary of her passion, faith, and commitment to social justice. She is a model of servant leadership, and we are happy to present her with the High School Educator Award. Our Elementary Student Award goes to Jaden Thomas. Jaden Thomas is a member of the 8th grade class at Infant Jesus of Prague School. This year, Jaden has stepped up as a very engaged leader in the school community. He is currently the president of the National Junior Honor Society, and he is an active member of the 8th grade leadership team. Jaden is an outstanding, dedicated member of the school band. He plays the saxophone, and he has shined as a solo performer in the IJP Virtual Christmas Pageant and last year's Christmas concert. Jaden is also a regular member of the school basketball teams in non-COVID years. Jaden helps begin the school days for everyone at IJP with grace and confidence when he reads the morning announcements and leads the entire community in prayer. Congratulations, Jaden, for being this year's recipient of the Elementary Student Award. Our High School Student Award goes to Levon Overton. Levon Overton is part of the class of 2022 at De La Salle Institute. Levon is the type of student that naturally stands out amongst his peers because he acts from a place of humility and genuine care. He does not seek recognition, yet he is easily recognized because of who he is, a shining example of what it means to be a De La Salle Meteor. Levon is part of the Meteors United group that gathers teachers and students for focused dialogues about justice, diversity, and inclusion within the school community. Levon participates in weekly community prayer before school. He deeply reflects on his faith, and he is cheerful and helpful to all he encounters. He exemplifies the Lasallian values of faith, service, and community. Congratulations, Levon, for being this year's recipient of the High School Student Award. It took the work of many people to put together our virtual services this year. 
I would therefore like to particularly thank the following individuals. The African American Heritage Service Planning Committee, including Ms. Melissa Link from the Office of Catholic Schools. All those who led sessions and prayers, especially our black deacons and their wives. Our hard-working Archdiocesan Media and Communications team for their great work. All of the students, teachers, and school leaders who have supported and attended our sessions. All of our sponsors who have generously shared their support for our service this year. I am grateful that our efforts together will motivate within us a greater sense of unity, compassion, appreciation, and justice. May the peace of God ever shine within our hearts. Thank you. In this backwards world we live in, why do our dreams stay grounded while our nightmares take flight? Why is it so easy to do wrong but impossible to do right? It's not about what you have, it's about how you use it. Nothing is good or bad unless you choose to make it so. There's no peace with violence, and when violence comes, the fighting comes. Constantly fighting to prove our worth because they told us we were worth nothing. No matter how much pain we go through, you can never take what we have. Will me, thrill me, you can never kill me, because we'll always have our rights. We've seen so many of our brothers and sisters die at the hands of cops who are bigots that beg for sympathy, knowing they'll willfully have our blood on their hands. We are the victims of police brutality. Now we're tired of the, being the victims of hate. No matter what, we'll never stop fighting for our brothers and sisters who are affected by our racist system. Us black folks are tired, but no, no, we'll never stop fighting to get our justice. We spent all these years fighting and fighting and we're not giving up. We just have to have faith in ourselves and our people because we can make a difference. But through these tough times where black people are getting abused and Corona is killing everyone, we can put our hands together and pray for help. But we got so many blessings and we don't even know it. But the least we could do is show that we appreciate him by saying thank you. Don't forget, he died on the cross for you and me. We're grateful because we are in God's hands now. My brothers and sisters, I'm back to have a call of action. Having you understand that you can make a difference. Change won't come if you wait. If you wait on someone else or you do it some other time, we will call on God's promises in his presence to be with us. But what can I do to make a difference today? Do I accept the call to unite us by standing together and celebrating our heritage with one another, showing our brothers and sisters in Christ that we can make a difference? God calls each of us. God wants you to know that love is the gift to the world. Let your love radiate all the people you meet. Let your love touch the hearts of people you don't even know. Let your love reach out to every corner of the earth. Love is what's saving our world because of you young people, saving our community, and the world, and you young people have been what we've been waiting for. You are the change here and now, and I wanna thank you young people for your courage to move the world forward. Amen. I believe.